that's not my right handle at all. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. I do hope you're all well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. Exam season is very nearly here. For me, I have just a couple more days until my first exam. That exam is linear algebra, if anybody's wondering. And then I have my last exam. I have four exams, but my last one is on the 9th of June. So revision is well underway. And to be honest, I have kind of experimented with a couple of revision methods. I've only done a few university exams. I did some in semester one, but semester two for me has been quite different. The courses have been a little bit harder, which is kind of expected, but what has kind of not thrown me a little bit, but is a little bit uh, different, especially to A-level and my uh, first semester, is the amount of maths we have to learn. For anybody wondering, I am doing a maths degree at the University of Manchester, and I have four courses for semester two. I have linear algebra, I have calculus and applications, I have sequences and series, and I have introduction to statistics. And we have exams for all four of those courses. And I have to revise a lot of stuff. At A-level, you have your end of year exams where you're assessed on everything. And of course, there's a lot there. But what's different here is we kind of have a lot of maths in linear algebra and a lot of maths in sequences and series and a lot of maths in the other two courses as well. So I have a lot of revision that I need to do. Today, what I want to share is how to use lecture notes effectively when you're revising. Now, before we go any further with this video, I want to just say thank you to ProPrep for sponsoring this video. ProPrep is an online learning platform for STEM university courses. You go on and you can enter your university, you can then select your courses, and it makes a tailor-made study guide for you. If you enter your university, all of your courses will come up and you'll be able to watch videos, go and look at study guides and get some help from professors about your university course. All you have to do is enter your university, get your courses selected and then get learning. The website is available at any time, any time of day on any device. So whenever you're studying, if you need that extra help, you can go on, see your university syllabus and then watch the video that ProPrep has created. ProPrep are already helping half a million students prep for those exams. I'll pop a code on here. You will get a 14 day free access to the website and then 30% off all the additional membership plans after your free access to the website. Now let's jump in to the video. So the first tip I have is, it's quite trivial, but make sure you have learnt everything. Make sure you do that. Before you get to revising that chapter, you need to have learnt it in the first case. So it's fine to be a little bit behind on your lectures. You know, you are human, you're gonna be behind on them, but make sure you catch up with them before you start looking at lecture notes. You need to have got a little basic knowledge and learn everything from your lectures before you start revising with your lecture notes. So if you need to just catch up with some stuff, watch the videos, have your lecture notes at your side, just like I've got mine, make sure you have learned everything. The second tip is to print off some pages of your lecture notes. Now for maths, I have four courses and for each course it kind of varies. There's sometimes 40 pages in the lecture notes or I think the highest is something like 80. You're not really going to want to print every page off but what I found really helpful is whilst I'm revising, even though I take all my notes on my iPad, I really sometimes like to actually feel pieces of paper. That's a weird thing to say but it kind of engages me a little bit more with my revision. So if you're lucky enough to have a printer like I am, definitely go and print out some of your lecture notes. I have, I think it's, yes, it's from page 31 to 38. This is chapter 11 of linear algebra. So I'm recently revising linear transformations and I've just finished that actually. And what I did is I went and printed off my lecture notes. Now it's only a couple of pages. I haven't printed it all off in one go. I've just printed off the section that I'm revising. And I find this much better because I can actually feel pieces of paper. I love taking notes on my iPad, but what I really like when I'm revising is to engage with my revision. So print it 
off. That will really help you. Then when you're doing questions, you can engage with your lecture notes. You can turn to the certain page that you need to go to. Or if you're creating notes as your revision, then you've got the lecture notes here to base your notes off. Base your revision around them. I'm going to get on in a minute to what I have done to really adapt my lecture notes and to help me with my exams. But base your revision around these notes. Learn the content from the videos if you've got lecture videos online or learn the content from your in-person lectures and your rough notes that you've taken in lectures, but actually revise using these notes. Do not underestimate them. I think I, in semester one, did underestimate my lecture notes. I watched all the videos and took notes myself, but this is what you're assessed on. All the information that you're ever going to need, especially with maths when you've got lots of theorems and lectures, all that information is in the lecture notes. Here I've just got chapter 11 of my linear algebra course, so every Everything I need to know about linear transformations is in these, what is it, seven pages. So really make sure you print them off, you've got them, and you base your revision around them. Okay, tip number three is what I've really done to help me this year, or especially this second half of the year. I knew that these exams were going to be open book, and the first time I did open book exams was semester one. So what you want to do is you want to summarise your lecture notes, and here's a few ways of how you can do it. Let me find, right, okay, the first page. So here you can see we are looking at linear transformations, and if you look here, here, you can see that there's examples in the notes. Examples are really good when you're learning the content. So make sure you do read the examples in the lecture notes to help you learn the content. But to revise, you want to know, especially for maths, all the theorems, the definitions. That's the stuff that you really need to know. So what I have done is I've started going through my lecture notes and typing up all the theorems and definitions so that the lecture notes are really concise. You don't have to type them up if you don't want to because it is quite time consuming. What you could do is, here's the lecture notes from the lecturer, you could just take a little screenshot and maybe put them all in a PowerPoint or a Word document so that you've got concise notes. So I don't have any examples in here. All I have is definitions and theorems that are really going to help me in my open book exams. So for example, we'll just take the first page. You can see it's very summarised. I've got little lines here, what I do, and I use those, I'm going to do that so it doesn't focus on me, I use those basically to separate the working. I have no examples in here, all I have is theorems and definitions, and that way my notes are really concise. So instead of flicking through like an 80 page document, all I have to do is flick through a little bit of notes. Here you can see I've finished this, this is sequences and series, and what I did is this course is full of definitions and theorems. It's all about sequences the first half. So what I did is I went through, I think it was a 60 page lecture notes, it was a 60 page document. I've split it up and kind of got it down into six pages. I've read through the examples as revision. My sequences and series exam is quite late on, so I haven't done proper revision for that yet. But when I do, I look through examples, but what I've got here is all the theorems and definitions. I don't have any examples in here because in the exam, the examples are not going to be very helpful. I need to know the theorems and things. So I've got them here. So you can see I've got uh, straight lines again to separate off the definitions. Here we've got what sequences. Here we've got triangle inequality. And I kind of have no notation around it. It just says this is the triangle inequality. This is the definition of convergence or whatever. So even if you're not doing a maths course, I don't know what lecture notes look like for the courses, but I'm sure you can do something similar to this. You only want in this summarised document the things that you need to know. So because I like everything perfect, I typed it out myself. I had my lecture notes next to me and I had a Word document open and just typed it out. And actually, that was an incredible form of revision for me because I was typing things out, and as I was typing, they were sticking in my brain even more. I was typing out the definition of convergence, I was typing out what the sandwich rule is, for example, and as I was typing it out and taking it from my lecture notes into my summarised notes, that was kind of 
uh, solidifying, is that the right word? S yeah, solidifying the knowledge in my brain. And that really, really helps. So it's kind of like an extra form of revision. And the last tip in this video is tip number four. Look at your own notes that you've made throughout the semester and make sure they match with the lecture notes. As you're revising, get up the notes that you made for that topic and make sure everything that is in the lecture notes is in your written notes so that you've kind of got a variation of what you can revise with. Do you want to revise with the lecture notes? Do you want to revise with your written notes? And if you want to revise with written, make sure that they're perfect and they're really, really neat and you can really understand them quite easily and they match with the lecture notes because again, the lecture notes is like the basis of your course. And that is it for this video. I hope that helps you. If you've got any questions about lecture notes or anything that I haven't mentioned in this video, a big thank you again to ProPrep for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate it. Thanks again for watching everybody and I wish you the best of luck with exams. If you've already had them, I hope they went well. If you've got them coming up, just like me, we can smash them and then we're ready for a very long awaited summer. I think I'm just gonna sleep the whole summer. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you very very soon with a brand new video. Bye! I'm gonna do that so it doesn't focus on me. <laughs>